r slash 90 day fiance. The underscore chuckness 88 says. Shida genuinely believes this guy's going to change, or come around to her ideas, or even just acknowledge her as an equal in this relationship. Not gonna happen. Included photo. Tall Redhead 1014 says. Belawful Aka Kanai Midwest just wanted a pretty wife on his arm for these kind of fashion photos. Excessive F3 Thime says. This couple is so stale. Next. C141 Driver says. I'm wondering what percentage of these two dingbuts disposable income is spent on clothes. Swosoli12 says. At this point, it is on her. International Ad 5968 says. They give me dollar store Kim K and Can I W vibes. Hamamono says. These people have pulled the wool over everyone's eyes. You all have really bought their BS. They are winning and winning. Because viewers are so gullible. They are TLC slash Matt Sharp stallings for their canny self-production, and will probably get their own spin-off in the next year. SMDH. Character Pop 6168 says. Can someone please make these two disappear? I'm so sick of them. Summer Nothingness says. Imagine he just uses her for sex and companionship, while denying her a baby. For a conservative Muslim woman, that would be a lifetime's betrayal, because it's not like she has endless time, or can just go get remarried easily, or even go get pregnant outside of marriage, and become a single mom. Unfilahacked says. She looks very unhappy. Slippery Squirrel says. One a back rubbing off on her. Spookababee42069 says. Wow shy dust dress is poppin', I wish I knew where it was from. Beneficial Frame 6 says. Unrelated to their awful relationship, I love everything she either wears, she is always so put together, and is absolutely gorgeous. Mind blowing to me how, or why she would feel the need, to be with this fool. Puzzle who aided underscore age underscore 158 says. She either. Honey, he is a narcissist they don't change ever. r slash 90 day fiance. Trash Sash says. Pillow talk starring a Sulo Mohamed. Honesty, I can't sleep and then my mind spins thoughts and pictures make me laugh out in my pillow. It may be a sensation listen to of the most monotone slash unemotional, slow slow speakers jet in heat up of a tell all, and argument in one tone. Needed to share that brain circus with y'all may that push some smiles in some faces out there. 6 colon 40h, internet off. Happy healthy new year to y'all. Jilmonga says. Just, no. Leave Da Canali says. That's a twist on ASMR for sure. Talk about voices to make you pass out. Hamamono says. Asulu. R slash 90 day fiance. Supinator1 says. In what way does Angela cause people to die at an early age, as Asman states in the tell all? Is it primarily due to the stress she causes, which leads to depression, high blood pressure, substance use, or poor diet which then lead to more severe medical conditions like heart disease and kidney disease? Is it a more quick thing, where she has a tantrum that distracts you, when you are doing something hazardous, for instance? Driving and getting into a traffic collision? Or does Asman believe Angela will have a tantrum when the person is at a dangerous location, and hit them in a way that leads to a fatal injury, for instance? Pushing into traffic, knocking them off the side of a cliff at a national park. Lally says. Any and all of the above. Alarmed underscore meeting 1322 says. Lol all of the above. The yammy yammy says. Who has Angelo caused the death of Lol Lolusman? He's just as bad. R slash 90 day fiance. Paddleballer says. 
Cory needs to wake up. A long time ago, a friend of mine told me, you can't make someone like you. I wish Cory had heard this, because he's just getting jerked around by his fiance. I mean, come on. If you can't tell this woman is checked out, and wants to escape, maybe you got hit on the head by your surfboard. Dude needs to pack up, and go back to America and find someone who actually wants to be in a relationship, not whatever he's in. Timon Fisitoka says. Who is Cory? R slash 90 day fiance. Baltimore Lady says. Love in Paradise new season? I'm in a restaurant and just saw a commercial for a new season of Love in Paradise slash TLC. I have Discovery Plus, but haven't seen this advertised. I can't even remember if it's season 2 or 3 were at point but. Anyway, anyone know anything? Kaylee underscore says. Love in Paradise is like a Discovery Plus exclusive. It airs on TV almost a year after it's uploaded to Discovery LOL. Trashed Vadict 79 says. Season 2 is playing new on TLC. I haven't seen anything about an actual new season for Discovery Plus yet. Hope we get one soon. Jessastake underscore Thuil says. I think they dubbed us into thinking it was a new season. I have Discovery Plus 2, and I see only two seasons, nothing is new. R slash 90 day fiance. Altruistic underscore bottle underscore 66 says. Watching tell old part 1. I heard a noise, as if someone is snorting a line, when Angela is dancing in her hotel room. Am I crazy, or did someone else also notice the same? I'm obviously not very versed in addiction or addiction recovery, but usually when I hear sounds that sound like something usually jump to conclusions. But it also would not surprise me, because sometimes she acts very erratically. Perhaps she is an addict? Tasty Nisha 420 says. I didn't hear that, but I don't doubt that you heard it Angela came to that tell all high as a kite. Winter underscore day underscore 6836 says. Not sure, but I did catch the hand cleaning the nose once and definitely knew. Prudent underscore key 1982 says. I wouldn't say addict I would say that she has more money now to afford coke or whatever. Living the high life. User underscore not underscore found 01 says. I don't know, I didn't hear it, but I believe you. That woman was on something. I posted asking if she was drunk, but goodness only knows what she was actually on. FFS this woman is making an absolute fool of herself. I mean she has always been crazy and erratic, but this season has been the height of shit shows as far as her behavior, it has drastically gotten worse. Scary Tomato 6722 says. And her friend Jen looks kinda shady. Jen Daisy 72 says. In a twisted way, I hope she's on something, and that it's not just her personality. Dirtalulpa says. I heard it too. Altruistic underscore bottle underscore 66 says. I just saw where Angela walked out. OMG she is so gross I can't with her. Hamamono says. Question mark question mark question mark. There was an entire professional camera crew and sharp producers standing right there behind the cameras. No one was snorting lines. HRCR95 says. Yeah my husband, and I thought she was on something. My guess was that she was abusing prescription medication of some sort. Obviously can't prove this, but I know some people who have, and they act rather similarly. Scary Tomato 6722 says. I will have to rewatch the episode and have a listen. R slash 90 day fiance. Type footy says. Who has changed the most slash least from their first episode? Having got into 90DF this year, I've been slowly working through the back catalog while keeping up with the current stuff. 
I was surprised recently by how, when they first appear, neither Angela nor Darcy seems particularly awful, certainly compared to what they'd become. By contrast, Baguette arrived fully formed, for better and for worse. The man who just dumped and got back together with Liz for the 10th time is the exact same man who was in love with Rose. So who's surprised you the most in how they've changed during their time on the show? And who's been the most consistent? Silent Count says. Anfissa has really done a lot to better herself since she's been on the show. She was thought of as a gold digger and after the show she basically improved her life on her own without a man. I actually like her now vs on the show I hated her so much. A.090288 says. Honestly Kasha and Daniel haven't changed much if at all. Kudos to those two because they annoyed the life out of during their seasons. Rain Substantial 6862 says. Angus looks the most, her personality the least. Sanja Duda says. Yara, so. Many fillers and plastic surgery. She's completely unrecognizable now. Katie Girl 27 says. The title should say excluding Darcy. She wins all those categories. Demonager says. Colty, changed physically and beardly? For sure. Faze character 3536 says. I would say Paola changed the most cold and stand her after season 1. Russ seemed to still be the same and putting up with her crap. Teen Mom Kanoisa says. No one has mentioned Jamal. Kaylee underscore Zo says. Rose was only on one season, but she has had such a glow up, I'm not even talking about looks wise. She got out of poverty. I can't imagine how empowering that is. Initial underscore source underscore 7880 says. Good question. I'm somewhat new to 90D, but I think Colt is evolving yet. I think he sees himself as a modern day who Hefner. In two years he will be unrecognizable. Nerdicide says. Angela has amped it up, but she's always been a disgusting vile piece of shit. Kitapia says. Kenny and Armando have changed the least. Dancefar9732 says. Rose has maybe had the most positive life changes after being on the show. That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.